Yo, I made a short video a while back explaining how to make your character blink and a lot of y'all wanted me to make a full size video that's easier to follow. So here it is, how to make your character blink. As I said, you need to have a character with some eyeball bones, specifically eyelid bones, and I'm using the free Paragon Asset Greystone. You can check if you have this by opening your character's skeleton and looking for bones around there and seeing if it covers the holy mother of- now that you confirmed your lids cover the eyes, you need to make blueprints to make it happen. Inside my character blueprint, I've added a custom event named Blink. I'm also calling event begin play, which we'll call the event. Next, make a bool variable named blinking and a float named blink alpha. Out of the blink event, we are gonna set the bool to true. Next, let's add a timeline named blinking timeline. Double click into it. Inside of mine, I have changed the length to 0.2 on a float curve and have two keys going from value zero to one, where one is at time 0.2. If you don't know how to do this, click add float track, change the length, add two keys, and adjust the values for each one. What this does is say over 0.2 seconds, we're gonna go from zero to one. Instead of an immediate jump from zero to one, it's gradual. Now out of the timeline on update, we're gonna set our float variable from the timeline float. On finished, we're going to call another timeline, but do the reverse in terms of the keys. When you're done, it should look like this. Out of finished, we're gonna set the bool to false, add a delay from random float in range, and you can set how often you want your character to blink. Now, you just need to loop it together and it's gonna loop forever. If you hit play though, nothing's gonna happen because we're missing the last step. In your character's animation blueprint event graph, get a reference to your character and create a float variable from the blink alpha. Then in the anim graph, before output pose, you're gonna add two transform modified bone nodes since we have two eyes. Click the nodes, select your lid bones and change translation to add to existing and parent bone space. Connect blink alpha to each one, change the translation for Z to negative one, and it should look like this. And just like that, you got your character to blink. Now you can have more life to your game that you didn't have before. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.